chapter seventy four in the end of years died saul king of edom and baal chanan the son of achbor reigned in his place in the sixteenth year of the reign of moses over cush baal chanan the son of achbor reigned in the land of edom over all the children of edom for thirty-eight years in his days moab rebelled against the power of edom having been under edom since the days of hadad the son of bedad who smote them and midian and brought moab under subjection to edom and when baal chanan the son of achbor reigned over edom all the children of moab withdrew their allegiance from edom and angeas king of africa died in those days and asdrubal his son reigned in his stead and in those days died janias king of the children of chittim and they buried him in his temple which he had built for himself in the plain of canopia for a residence and latinus reigned in his stead in the twenty-second year of the reign of moses over the children of cush latinus reigned over the children of chittim for forty-five years and he also built for himself a great and mighty tower and he built therein an elegant temple for his residence to conduct his government as was the custom in the third year of his reign he caused proclamation to be made to all his skilful men who made many ships for him and latinus assembled all his forces and they came in ships and went therein to fight with asdrubal the son of angeas king of africa and they came to africa and engaged in battle with asdrubal and his army and latinus prevailed over asdrubal and latinus took from asdrubal the aqueduct which his father had brought from the children of chittim when he took jania the daughter of uzai for a wife so latinus overthrew the bridge of the aqueduct and smote the whole army of asdrubal a severe blow and the remaining strong men of asdrubal strengthened themselves and their hearts were filled with envy and they courted death and again engaged in battle with latinus king of chittim and the battle was severe upon all the men of africa and they all fell wounded before latinus and his people and asdrubal the king also fell in that battle and the king asdrubal had a very beautiful daughter whose name was ushpazina and all the men of africa embroidered her likeness on their garments on account of her great beauty and comely appearance and the men of latinus saw ushpazina the daughter of asdrubal and praised her unto latinus their king and latinus ordered her to be brought to him and latinus took ushpazina for a wife and he turned back on his way to chittim and it was after the death of asdrubal son of angeas when latinus had turned back to his land from the battle that all the inhabitants of africa rose up and took anibal the son of angeas the younger brother of asdrubal and made him king instead of his brother over the whole land of africa and when he reigned he resolved to go to chittim to fight with the children of chittim to avenge the cause of asdrubal his brother and the cause of the inhabitants of africa and he did so and he made many ships and he came therein with his whole army and he went to chittim so anibal fought with the children of chittim and the children of chittim fell wounded before anibal and his army and anibal avenged his brother's cause and anibal continued the war for eighteen years with the children of chittim and anibal dwelt in the land of chittim and encamped there for a long time and anibal smote the children of chittim very severely and he slew their great men and princes and of the rest of the people he smote about eighty thousand men and at the end of days and years anibal returned to his land of africa and he reigned securely in the place of asdrubal his brother